Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Ladder Report. Today, you will see that I've got a weird team. <laughs> um, sorry for no uploads yesterday. Uh, no upload yesterday on Monday. Um, I recorded some stuff for the team. I threw some stuff together, and the team didn't work, and like the battles just weren't any good. And like, I could have uploaded some of them, but they were all they, honestly they were all trash, and I don't want to put trash on the channel so hopefully there's a little bit better but you see i do have a mischievous which is super fun um it's got levitate it's super cool uh, i'm running scarf chomp so i can just earthquake things so i've got two things i can earthquake next to and then uh i really need something to kind of handle uh like the sun teams like Cart like you know cartana in general and then uh torkoal lilligans that's what gooch is there for uh my Top of Coco helps with that also, as well as just being an awesome Top of Coco. It's just a chicken that does stuff. And, uh, yeah, and for rain teams, you know, I don't see them very often, but I don't want to get wrecked by them. Lapras is there for that. So how do I want to lead against this? Garchomp Celestela. Is that a lead? Top of Coco is probably not bad either. I could go Coco Garchomp. Because I'd be worried about that tailwind. I think Gudra could be good here. It could also be bad here. Celesteel is probably good here. And do I want Lapras or do I want Mischievous and something else to Earthquake next to? Probably not Mischievous. One, two, uh. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. Because, you know, why not? I've also... The Mischievous has got Trick Room. So I could go Trick Room as well. Maybe there's something better to put on the team to utilize Trick Room next to Mischievous. Because you can't fake out Mischievous, which is super cool. Um, you know, you can Earthquake next to it because it's got Levitate. Which is also cool. Maybe Mudstail. Ooh. The only bad thing about Mischievous is on a Trick Room team, it's kind of fast for a Trick Room team. Alright, so I kind of half expected this. Huh. Psychic Seed? Yeah, okay. So, they're going to get a Tailwind. Because I don't have Taunt. Maybe that's something to have. I have Hidden Power Ice, which is kind of meh. Maybe Taunt's better. Probably better, yeah. So I think it's just gonna I think it's probably just gonna attack here, honestly. I could fiddle and fart around Tailwind, I think. I'd like to take out Top of Lele. Or maybe not. Maybe it's better. I you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna regret this, but I'm gonna make a defensive play here. And here's the thing. Mandibuzz is going to get up Tailwind. But Mandibuzz also doesn't really do a whole lot on the field. I mean, once it gets up Tailwind, it can Snarl. I wouldn't... I'm, I think it's going to be a Moonblast into the Garchomp slot, but I certainly want, wouldn't want to see a Psychic into... Okay, it is just to protect, so... Just protect Tailwind. I certainly want to see just, like, a Psychic into the Atop of Coco, because that would suck. What I can do here now... I can switch in... Mischievous. Alright, Mischievous. Time to show your stuff. What do I think would come in the back? It would some, would Arcanine switch in here? That's the question. Do I want to just go right for a Heavy Slam or do I want to Leech Seed? Is the big question. Maybe I'll Leech Seed. Is a Heavy Slam... That's got to be too obvious. Would be nice, though, to pick up the Lele, but I feel like you've, you've got to be worried about the Lele. Or unless it's got Thunderbolt, in which case I'm stupid. So, again, I'm playing a little bit passively, but eh. It's a very bad habit of mine. No. Just, uh... Just go for it. Oh, it's Life Orb. And a Snarl. Okay, so that's actually pretty bad. Because, let me tell you why. Because I have a saying when I knocked it out, that's why. <laughs> I 
And do I still care at all about... Mischievous? I don't want Mischievous to get knocked out because it's so pretty. Life form. How much is a life form psychic in the electric terrain going to do? Um, probably a lot. Probably a lot. What does Mischievous help against? No, it can still be good. It can still be good. It can, if I can pain split with it, it can still be good. Alright, well this time, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna heavy slam. I mean, I at least seeded it, which is a waste of a turn. I should've just heavy slammed it. I didn't think it would just stay in like that. Okay, that's gonna do a nice bit of damage. So what is the Mandibuzz gonna do? This is going to do a nice chunk of damage to the uh, Snarl. Okay. So that's not great for a Tapu Koko, but also not the end of the world. So we'll get a lot of damage off on to DeCoco. That's nice. I honestly think... I am modest Tapu Koko, so I don't... The Mandibles will probably outspeed me in Tailwind. Find a guess. And a minus two life orb snarl, even a modest, I don't think a, or a, a life orb dazzling game, I don't even think that'll take out the top of Coco. How many turns of tail on our left? Oh, that was it. In that case, I'll we'll double into the. Uh... Now, this would be actually a good time to get in a. Uh... Garchomp. This person is playing very straightforward. They're probably just going to Thunderbolt into Celesteela, in which case, I should be able to get in Garchomp, which would be nice. You know, the get of a Tailwind, so be it. Volt Switch. Oh, that was actually a good play. Oh my god. Yeah, that's why. I say that should not have done that much damage. Should not have. And a Tailwind here? The top of Lele and a Tailwind. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. We might knock ourselves out here with this damage. And it's oh, you know what I did? I was like I was checking for Tailwind. I clicked on my character, not theirs. I was like, oh, Tailwind's up. It's not there, but no, it's 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 still up. Huh. I'm in a bit of a pickle here. However, what I can do here, what I can do, what I can do, I'm pretty sure, I, yeah, the top of the is, is within earthquake range. I can pain split here, although, crap, no, tailwind, duh. No, no, okay. So the top of the probably protects here. The question is, do I go for a trick room? Let the Mandibuzz get up to the Tailwind. You know, I'm going to make a super risky play here. This is so incredibly risky. I'm assuming Mandibuzz is going to go for a Tailwind here. So I'm going to trick room in the face of that Tailwind. Hopefully we'll knock out the top of Lele as they go for trick room. Or as they go for Tailwind. Okay, go for that Tailwind. <laughs> okay, um, this means that Garchomp will still be slower, and I'll be able to I'll be able to pain split with Mischievous to get back health. Depends on what comes in. Like if Arcanine comes in, this is great. Garchomp. Okay. Okay, this is good. This is good. As long as the Garchomp doesn't protect, which I don't, I don't know, like, uh, will it? Because if it does, then, eh, it, well, it's not the worst thing in the world. I'm worried about the Mandibuzz, like, foul-playing Mischievous, but it still shouldn't do that much. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here. I'm gonna pain split earthquake. Don't protect your guard charm. Don't. Don't you do it. You did it. I asked you nicely not to. And then you did it anyways. Yeah, okay. So, pain splitting in the mandibus would have been nice. Foul play into... Oh, that... That's... That... <sighs> Please. Get more crits. Please get more crits. I, 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 I want... I want that. Alright, something's getting knocked out this turn. So that crit was huge, actually. Kind of a problem. Because we, we'd be able to take another one if not for that crit. 17, 39, 7, 157, 17. Yeah. Um, if I get the chance... And here's the thing. If, if Mischievous is able to, like, pain split and get a bunch of health back, I could actually pain split my Garchomp to give it health. Which is a thing. So, whereas before, I could burn something, now I have to pain split. So this will do a nice chunk to the Garchomp. My Earthquake should do an, a decent amount. Oh, no. You're joking. Well, that, that crit didn't matter, but like... Does this thing have two items? Psychic Seed and Scope Lens? Okay, well, this is a problem. Well, this is how we win this game. This is how we, this is exactly how we win this game. We leech seed everything. And you know why? Because why not? I can't believe that the Mandibuzz and Tailwind was slower than our Garchomp. It's just a Scarf Garchomp. It's not that fast. And keep that in mind for the future. Double into the Mandibuzz. Paint split, leech seed. Yep. That is exactly why we did that there. Leech seed. Nice, we get that off. We should be able to get the paint split off too. Should be nice. Give us a lot of health back because it's probably very bulky mandibus. Mm-hmm. Roost. Okay. Now we can burn the Garchomp. Now we can burn the Garchomp. Do you want to heavy slam the Mandibuzz? Or seed the Garchomp? Because, I mean, Coco coming in is still a problem. One turn of Trick Room left. Okay, I'm going to... If it switches out to Mana Buzz, it's not the end of the world. We get the Leech Seed off, and we're going to burn the Scar Chomp. So we're going to get some nice residge. Some nice residual damage. We hit the Will O Wisp. Spitting hot fire. God, Mischievous is so cool. I love Mischievous. It is adorable. Foul play. So actually, I'm pretty sure if we burn the Mana Buzz, its foul plays will do less damage. I think that's how it works. Yeah, he recognizes the threat. <laughs> he recognizes the threat. <laughs> Mischievous is the threat. So Celesteel is not going anywhere. Question is... So Mischievous probably goes down here. If not, we're going to trick him again. Because if, if he wants to set up Tailwind, I don't know why he would because he's faster then Garchomp can't knock out Mischievous unless he gets another crit. Fourth crit in one game. Or whatever. Um, and we'll be we'll be fine. My only problem is the Coco. If I can knock out Garchomp, I'll get a special defense boost. And I'll be able to handle the Coco a little bit better. The question is, does he switch something in here? I want, yeah, I think maybe the Mandibus. Maybe the Mandibus switches. No? Well, I can't protect the Mischievous. Okay. That's fine. The Mandibus is going to sit here and roost. So next turn, I'll be able to get a knockout on the Garchomp 
and boost my special defense. That's the play. I gotta boost that special defense. It's very important. Poor Mischievous. So guys, I know this is super fun to watch, Celestilo. This is the first time I've actually like really used a Celestilo, so we'll see how it goes. Thing is, if he decides to switch in Tapu Koko, I've got to call it. I think here the Mandibuzz is probably, probably Roost. Garchomp might protect. Garchomp switching into Tapu Koko here would be very bad for me. But if the Mandibuzz Roost again, I I, I just want to get get that heavy slam damage on it, that heavy slamage right on it. No, oh, he just goes for it. Okay. Yeah, because I don't care about the Garchomp's not doing any damage right now. The Mandibus is the problem. Well, the Top of Coke is the problem. But, you know, the more the Mandibus heals, the more Leech Seed I get back. Is that a crit? Yeah, that's nice. So this turn, we're going to Heavy Slam into the Garchomp. Because that will give us the ability to knock it out. Actually, a really good play on their part would be to protect Garchomp and and let it knock itself out. That way I wouldn't get the beast boost. That that's that's the play you should make here. So uh, as, as dumb as this is right now, the fact that it's like sleep seed blah blah whatever. Keep in mind this is this is the kind of things you have to pay attention to. Little things. That Garchomp needs to protect here. It needs to protect here. There's no point in trying to save it. Okay, that's a mistake. Because we're going to get a beast boost here. And we're going to get a special... And if I did my Eevees right, we should be getting a special defense beast boost. I mean, obviously, Mandibuzz is going to roost here. I don't care. It's not doing anything. All that Mandibuzz is doing is giving me free health. So now we knock out the Garchomp. Special defense. Special defense. We're going to get most of that back from Leech Seed. Like half of that, probably. Please be special defense. Yes. Okay. Cool. Cool. So if the if the top of Coco has taunt, then that's bad. Next turn we'll, we'll protect. We'll get our health back. I'll deal with the Amanda Buzz. I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it in a little bit. Because I can one v one the Amanda Buzz, no problem. I mean he'll run out of roost before I run out of heavy slams and protects. You know. Oh, that's right. I forgot I damaged it earlier. So one Heavy Slam is going to knock this thing out. What did I damage it with? Dazzling Gleam? What did I even hit it with? I... Oh, a Pain, pain Split? I truly don't remember. Yeah, we protect here. It's easy. Easy easy play. So we will knock out the top of Coco. The fact that they didn't bring their Arcanine made it a little bit... Easier for us right here. So, we've got to take that. That's the benchmark. Can we take plus one? Unless we get crit. Unless we get crit, we should be fine. Actually, a not bad play here would be for them to protect their top of Coco. Foul play with Mandibus. But then we're just going back and forth. And Actually, that's a bad play because then we're just stalling out. They're stalling out their own electric terrain. All right, so it all comes down to this. What could possibly go wrong? Lots of things. That's a crit. No, it's not. That's 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 choice specs. Ah, uh, it's choice specs. That's what it was. I was like, that should not have done that much damage. And it was choice specs. The late game choice specs bailed him out. And that's super sad. That's super sad. Well, you gotta admit though, Mr. Mist was pretty cool. This pain splitting, it was burning stuff, a trick room. The only thing we didn't do with it was attack. <laughs> we never clicked Shadow Ball. So, that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, so we are just plummeting in the ladder right now. Um, I was testing other stuff. I played like six games. With this, with another, with another team that it just it, we lost every single game. It was awful. Um, I think losing here, but it's not bad. It's not really bad, but 
yeah, that's going to be it today, guys, for the lineup, because this one went a little bit long. Unfortunately, it's the nature of Celestila. Uh, I'll try to avoid that if I can, but I thought we'd be able to win that, except Choice Specs Coco did, was a thing. So if you like it, feel free to hit that like button down below. Uh, share the video, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think, what you want to see. I mean, we're in the, we're in the, the dwelling in the depths of the ladder. So at this point, I'm open for anything, anything. So let me know. Also, I'm sorry. Uh, some people have told me in the comments that uh, they wanted me to keep the beard. The beard? No, no, I don't. I don't want it. I don't like it. It's it's gross. And like I said in the comments before, if I kept the beard and it was still growing, you would have 20 to 25 minutes of me just doing this the whole time. Blah, blah, blah. So, anyways, I hope to see you guys back next time for another episode of Ladder Up.